Buy away from Vietnam for only 6,000 US dollars. One guaranteed version. Two guaranteed to be delivered within 90 days. Three, no extra charges. Four, if ran away within a year, you get another one for free. So hold up, this whole thing, the whole ad came with a warranty. I'm asking more questions than can be answered. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash just neckbeard things. And if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show yourself support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already subscribed to the channel and turn on them notifications. Let's see if we can get this video to them thousand likes, that would be super duper awesome, but without a further ado, a Lego. Nice, 77% of manga authors are women. But the manga made by those 33% uh, of men are far, far better than those of 77% equality over quantity. Your statement's inherently stupid, and that's not just by the fact that you think 33 plus 77 equals 100, you dumb dumb. Plus, like, if you honestly think that a show is gonna be a quality product versus not a quality product just because the author is a guy or a girl, that just is stupid when you really come to think of it more than two seconds. And I'm honestly kind of wondering how many people have this kind of logic, but some of their favorite series are written by women. Yeah, your body spray is a good alternative to taking showers. What difference does it make? You still smell good either way, uh, but dumping some Axe body spray on it uh, much faster in the last just as long as you use enough. If I know you need shampoo, uh, but you can use dry shampoo and be done with it too. And I strongly prefer Axe body spray to taking a shower, and I've gone as uh, long as 62 days without taking one, and uh, nobody said anything. Thing. As long as I use enough X before going out, I think we waste too much time taking showers. Using X body spray is like using a patch job to fix something instead of using proper methods to actually get it fixed. You can pretty much guarantee that this would be the type of dude that if he went to Katsukan, Otakon, or well, I'm just naming the anime conventions that I go to, uh, he'd be one of those dum dums that buys out the entire stock of X body spray at CVS. And honestly, I gotta say, the only thing that was really bought when I went was uh, was the rubbers that I can't really name so uh, i gotta say there was probably a whole bunch of dudes that had high hopes for themselves and uh yeah those things were probably never used only thing i ever really bought there was the pedialyte because uh, brought my own stuff hey what's up hi i'm here to see if you can let me join the arsenal fc fan chat sure what's your name i don't know what the name is but it's, it's the blur at the bottom right you're, you're a girl straightened hi I don't like where this is going. Hi, I'm, uh, Blank. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Blank. Can I join, or can I not? A comb is back here. Sure, you can join if you want. But where do you live? I'm not comfortable with telling you that. Slowly massages your chest. We both support Arsenal. <laughs> you may as well tell me where you live. Okay, that's a bit too much for me. Bye. Freaking be. Look, asterisk cringer not just going up and randomly grabbing someone's chest don't work out like in the animes, my dude. I don't know what your social interaction experience is, but after that, I'm not expecting it to be much because that's not actually a proper way to make friends. You know, I've always kind of wondered what the bottom of that picture looks like. Looks like he's got a little kitty in the hoodie then. Uh, ain't that wholesome now. Women everywhere wearing low-cut tight shirts and yoga pants that show every nook and cranny is kind of not fair to the battle of infidelity. The evolution has created a somewhat of a uh, drive in men that is hard to fight. If you are a man, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you are a woman, you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. There is a definite attraction to a, a woman's chest that is unexplainable. It's almost like an animal instinct. I'm not making excuses, I'm just being truthful. I know women should be able to wear anything they want. I get it. It just makes it more difficult to fight the attraction when it's more revealing. I know I sound like an idiot. Uh, no, well, you got that right. You don't have to tell me that. 
but I think 99% of straight men would agree with me. If they don't, they are probably lying. It's physiological. Sorry if I offend you. You sound like you got a neck beard that looks like you glued pubes to your face. Yeah, no, you can guarantee this is the type of dude that says I'm just being honest after acting like a complete dong, thinking that's gonna nullify the fact that you were a complete dong. And really, you're just chalking this all up saying it's an animal instinct? Yeah, try explaining that to a cop, see how well that goes over. Dinner with my waifu. Okay, so I looked in the comments for like a quick second, and one of the comments pointed out something, like, zero two pillow aside, uh, that is like really good lighting in the photo, because I've always been a little bit of a photo nut, and I have a DSLR camera I've been meaning to break out again, because I just, I, I want to take pictures of some stuff, and whoever did the lighting, you actually did a fairly decent job, good job. I'm not sure this is for me, I think we want different things, I do wish you well though. I'm not sure it think doesn't mean no, and is confident about something, huh? It's okay to be afraid, but I'm not easy to handle, so are all other prime alphas. Look, dude, saying that implies people actually want to deal with you in the first place. Here's the thing, bear handling a Hot Pocket fresh out of the microwave is more desirable than you. Plus, you might as well just make a whole poster child about calling yourself as prime alphas, because I'm fairly certain that there's enough of you dum-dums where there are compilations on YouTube. A promiscuity isn't empowering. I've seen a lot of articles and even songs now that praise women for being promiscuous and overtly, uh, yeah, I can't say that word, and I don't get it. Of course, there are going to be a lot of uh, horny guys supporting this because they want to get laid, but I don't think a lot of people genuinely respect promiscuous women. Even if they did, I certainly don't. I would save a promiscuous person from a fire if they were trapped, but I wouldn't date one or want one to be in awe of it. Yeah, right, you would save them for the fire, ask them to suck you off halfway out, and if they say no, you toss them back in. I'm some ways I'd argue the promiscuity for men is actually somewhat empowering. Since S is a women-dominated area of life, women have tons of options, whereas most men only have a few. If a guy gets a lot of partners, he must be doing something right with his life. It's not cute when a woman brags about how she banged like a hundred guys before you, or how she gave random guys those things in the bathroom. How is that hot? A TLDR, I don't think promiscuous women are empowered, and people don't like that I'm saying that. Man, 49, arrested in Poland over this redacted of a 19-year-old refugee he promised to help and shelter after she fled war-torn Ukraine as Polish border guards say close to 1.6 million refugees have now crossed into the European territory. The 49-year-old suspect could face up to 12 years in prison for the brutal crime. Concerns are growing on how to protect the most vulnerable refugees from being targeted by human traffickers or becoming victims of other exploitation. At Poland's Medkia border, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, a man was offering to help only to women and children. The way the wisp of his mustache drapes over that notebook, a just a neckbeard things. Why is it that whenever I see the just neckbeard things logo with that type of cursive font, I hear that little jingle from a thousand miles, the da -da 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 -da, whatever that is, I have no idea why, but that always just chimes in my head every time I see that fancy font. Now, now, kitten, daddy isn't happy. Oh yes, because I needed a reason to involuntarily remember the Batman. I, actually, I liked the movie, but like after seeing the Riddler's design and his character and everything, I was kind of thinking, oh no, these dum-dums are going to jump from the Joker to the Riddler, aren't they? Just watch, they're going to try to use their big brain to flex ciphers and cryptic messages and all that jazz. Honestly, in all honesty, I like the Batman. I just have so many questions as to why Riddler's design looked that way, because it's like nothing in any way, shape, or form relating to any past iteration of the Riddler. Maybe they're trying to go for a more realistic thing and that kind of explains Koppelpot's design, but like, it, some of it just, it didn't sit right in its entirety, but I still like the movie nonetheless. Why do females claim stalking and harassment are still common things when they can get a restraining order and are given all sorts of the support? You're saying that, like, it's as easy to get a restraining order as it is to get a McChicken. I don't know much about the legal process of it, but isn't something like a restraining order something that you would need to have probable cause or some kind of reasoning behind getting? Plus, you're saying that, like, a restraining order solves all of the problems and will automatically get everybody to have common sense and understand, yeah, I'm not gonna stay near this person or I fall 
follow him whatsoever. I don't know what the context of this is, but honestly, the food just looks pretty good. She is a real life super ultra kawaii anime girl. Look, dude, I don't care if your profile picture is of an anime character or it's even so professional, it looks like you're a recruiter for LinkedIn. Um, that does not give you any reason to be dum dum on the internet. Also, I don't know if you've last checked, but just because people are Japanese don't mean they are anime characters. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Let's see if we can get this video to that good old round fat stack of them thousand likes, okie dokie. But with that all, be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,